own who you are, own your awkwardness, your quirkiness, and it's okay not to be okay, but, and it's okay not to be the same as your friends, because if they're really your friends, you wouldn't care if you're not the same. More women and girls need to be able to stand in their power and own who they are, and to be confident within themselves without thinking that they have to live up to societal's image of what they should be. We've been campaigning for period poverty, period awareness, ending the stigma around menstruation and education. We've been doing all sorts of stuff. Um, we're doing podcasts and videos and social media campaigns, getting our voices heard, getting the attention of more people. Some influencers are here, get their attention, to get their influence, and we've been hearing everyone's opinion on all really good issues. Um, so there's campaigns about knife crime and like hate crime, which is obviously a really big issue in Manchester, uh, as well as homelessness, which kind of tied into our campaign. And also about period poverty, because there's so many people in this country who can't afford necessary products. So raising awareness about that, really. So we did like podcasts, interviewing people about their campaigns as well. Um, we did making t-shirts and badges with like slogans on and also how to run an effective social media campaign like catchy tweets and gifs and things that will catch young people's attention. Even though it sounds cheesy, like the roots are like our generation and the more that we get taught things like this, the more we can change in the future. Have you ever experienced period poverty or known someone that's experienced it? Oh yeah, I came from the mining background and, and I was, um, I started my period during the mine, one of the miners' strikes. So my family weren't bringing any money in and uh, at that time we had to use like t toilet roll, we relied on donations from all over the country sending donations to the miners' family. So I started at a time when we had no money for that kind of stuff. And I remember how it made me feel, a little bit ashamed. Um, when really, now, now I know I shouldn't have been ashamed, I should have been angry. <laughs> enjoyed about today is that I've seen loads of young people really actively taking part in things that are issues that are important to them because there is a stigma around oh well young people really don't care about issues that matter to them there's been a lot of debate about votes at 16 as well and every young person here is saying please let us vote at 16 I've seen young people on megaphones screaming about why they want to be part of voting and things like that Statistics released by the Home Office show more than half of religiously motivated attacks in 2017. It's made me hopeful for the future because I can see so many young people being very ambitious and this might continue for the future as well.